Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, it's time to sound the alarm. It's only like three more days until Christmas, and you all have been following along on a calendar that you downloaded on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com. And I've been releasing a new recipe or a craft every day that you've been following along with. And we've done all sorts of good desserts and casseroles. And speaking of casseroles, I see today it says Deviled Ham Casserole. Here in the trailer park, somewhere here in the trailer park, we like deviled ham in a can. We make great sandwiches out of it with mustard, but did you make a casserole out of it before? I'm going to show you how to make my deviled ham casserole up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2013. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my deviled ham casserole is really simple and I'm going to just use a small cup here and I've got two tablespoons of chili sauce. You can use any kind that you like, and we're just gonna put that right there into the bowl. I've got one teaspoon of prepared horseradish sauce. I really like that flavor, and that just punches it up just a bit. And we're just gonna add that to the mixture, just like that. And I've got a teaspoon of mustard. We're just gonna add just a little bit, just guess a little bit. And about a teaspoon of Worcestershire War Worcestershire sauce, or whatever you say it. So we'll mix that in there. And I chopped up a little bit of some onion. So we're going to add that. And this is a can of deviled ham. What we're going to do is just add this to the mixture and just whip it up. And then we're going to get the rest of our ingredients together. So let me get that ready and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I've got the deviled ham mixture all mixed up. This is four slices of white bread. I guess you could use the fancy bread if you really wanted to, but it's kind of dry. I just popped it in the oven and then let it set out a little bit so it's kind of almost getting to a crouton state. But what we're going to do is let's just put a little bit right there on the slice of bread and spread it out. And I'm going to do that for each slice until we're out of the ham mixture. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we put the ham mixture on the dry bread. Now we're going to cut this into half piece chunks. So let me get this started and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now you're going to take a one and a half quart casserole and take the bread cubes and they're just kind of, I don't know, they're just not pretty just yet, but it will be. And we're just going to place them down in the bottom of the casserole on a layer. Now I've got a fourth cup of shredded cheddar cheese here and we're going to make layers of the cheese and the bread cubes. So let me get these down here in the bottom. There we go, just like that. And the cheese, let's get some cheese in there. There we go. I like these lots of cheese, but it sometimes could bubble over. So let's sprinkle some cheese. Now let's work on another layer. Let me do this and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that you've built your little casserole, you're going to take three eggs, a little pepper, and a little salt there, right on into the egg, and two cups of whole milk. Go right on in there. Let's beat this together and get that all whipped up. Okay, take about two teaspoons of butter and dot the top of your casserole, just like that. Now you got your egg and milk mixture. Just in the cup here and what we're going to do is pour it over your casserole just right up on top and hopefully not over your counter 
Okay, there we go. We poured the egg mixture over the deviled ham bread mixture. And what we're going to do now is put it in a hot water bath. I poured some hot water in a pan that's a little bit larger than what we're going to cook in. And now we're going to safely put this in a 350 degree oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. You might need to add a little bit more water every now and then. Be careful. But this just kind of makes it nice and doesn't make it burn. So set your timer. And there you have it, my deviled ham casserole. And look how pretty that is. You wouldn't think that that meat came out of a can. And it's just a nice, elegant casserole that you can fix for your family. And it puffed up with that bread. And it just is a nice, look at that, nice and cheesy. And it would firm up if we let it set. But I like it nice and piping hot. Look at that. It just looks so good, and I can't wait to try a little bit here. It's made my trailer smell so good while it was cooking, and I see the egg and the ham, of course. Mmm! That would be good on a cold winter's night, and it just really makes something elegant out of canned meat, and it's just a great recipe to share with your friends and family, especially around the holidays. When you need to cook something fast and don't want to stand in line at the grocery store and you got some bread and you got some canned uh, deviled ham, mmm, that is good. Taste the spice. I hope you get a chance to make my deviled ham casserole. And if you do, send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker there. And of course, add me on Google+. I'm there too. Don't forget to download your free calendar so you can track all the recipes we've done since the 1st of December. I'm going all the way till the 25th. There's lots to watch. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment so I know you stopped by. And Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Enjoy and goodbye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.